Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David. Okay, so second reading. Uh, Trump and DeSantis. Always a fun one, right? Um, uh, down in Florida, uh, Asa Hutchinson, uh, there's a big summit going down in Florida for the, the Republicans. And um, Asa Hutchinson was talking and basically criticized Trump saying that um, the Republican Party needs candidates with integrity and uh, you can't uh, win as a country without that. You have to support the rule of law and uh, work for integrity. And if you ignore it, you ignore it at your, uh, at your peril. And the next generation will not look favorably upon this one. And then he was promptly booed and people told him to go home, so on and so forth. Because that's what happens. This is at the, it's on Orlando, Florida. Uh, now, Trump and DeSantis are vying for uh, supremacy in Florida. It's, it's DeSantis's home state. So if Trump can beat DeSantis in Florida, where does DeSantis go at that point? Um, to further compound problems for DeSantis, a number of uh, uh, lawmakers in Florida have switched their allegiance from supporting DeSantis to, su to supporting Trump. And in this Florida summit, both DeSantis and Trump are speaking, and Trump is the last speaker and the keynote speaker. So <laughs> the summit seems to think Trump's number one. Other lawmakers are smelling, uh, smelling it, and they're jumping the DeSantis ship. So what's going on in Florida between Trump and, Trump and DeSantis? What's the energy there? Entertainment purposes only. Four swords. Um, <clears throat> People are making up their minds. Um, yeah, I want to say people are keeping quiet, but nothing in the DeSantis and Trump campaigns speak about things being kept quiet. But I think what this is more that um, people have kept quiet about who their uh, allegiance is going to be going forward in the 20 uh, in the primaries in the 2024 election. And that time of peace, that time of reflection is over. Yeah, it's over. People are people are now starting to come out and reveal who it is that they're supporting. And right now it appears to be Trump. Um, <clears throat> yeah, they're, um, you, you see, you're going to see a momentum here. More and more people are going to be coming, <clears throat> making their decisions and coming to the Trump camp. I think that uh, Trump is going to beat DeSantis in Florida and, and and basically take his home state away from him, leaving DeSantis to wonder, where do I go next, Cuba? In the past, we have temperance. Um, <clears throat> DeSantis has re really um, held back on attacking Trump. Uh, they all have. It's, it's funny. Um, Trump is the leader, and they take very mild swipes at him because the the folks that love trump and are fanatical about trump are just fanatical and any criticism of dear leader is met with a vicious response as asa hutchinson just found out so i think in this case desantis has been trying to figure out a concoction to get to trump i think he was hoping that the court cases would take him down but that doesn't seem to be the case so now what do you do now what you do is <laughs> is you find out that it's really kind of too late to do uh, to do anything. Um, people are celebrating Team Trump. Trump never the Trump was down after the twenty twenty election. The Republican Party could have put the uh, put the stake through the heart of that vampire. They didn't do it. They figured he was going to go away with all these court cases, but with delays and investigations and so on and so forth. It didn't happen, and now they're starting to come up to a head during the election year, but it's going to be too little too late. People have already would have celebrated and made their choices that they want Trump on the ticket. Trump has been fundraising. The GOP's in trouble because they've not been able to fundraise. I mean, they can fundraise, but anything they fundraise is off of you know, outrage against stuff that's happened to Donald Trump. They, they're they just writing. They're like parasites uh, or leeches. 
you know, uh, I remember there were some fish as a kid. I would watch uh, videos of like sharks swimming around. And then the, there's all these other little fish that kind of swim around with the sharks. You know, when the sharks do the big biting and tearing and get all the food, there's little bits that come breaking off. And then the little fish around the sharks get those bits. That's kind of what it's like. You know, they're like little parasites. Trump gets all the money. And if you support Trump and stuff like that, you get little bits of money. But Trump is hoarding all the cash and it's really depleting the GOP's efforts to put candidates out there who aren't MAGA candidates. But Trump also doesn't share the money with MAGA candidates. He hoards it for himself because that's just who he is. So, you know, we're, uh, Trump and DeSantis. DeSantis. Oh, yeah. And also, DeSantis is just having a really hard time raising funds. His, his uh, campaign has had to lay off people because they don't have the money to make it. <clears throat> At this point, you know, people are enamored with Trump. If DeSantis keeps going, he's just fooling himself. He doesn't have anything left, especially if Trump takes Florida. What's DeSantis going to, what's he going to springboard off of? Trump is already beating DeSantis. You know, Trump's got like 50% of Iowa and DeSantis has like 10%. You know, He's being crushed in the Iowa caucus. What do you think? What does he think is going to happen in Florida? In the end, um, Trump has a grip. Trump just has a grip over the GOP voters. He just does. The GOP could have spat him out. They didn't do it. They thought that uh, they thought that Trump was going to be gone. He's not gone. If anything, he's grown in strength over all the other candidates again. So be prepared for another Trump candidacy. <sighs> it kind of slows down the, uh, all the follow-up questions I, I have because it kind of answers those questions here. Um, certainly, you know, because... You could look at that reading as just being Trump versus DeSantis. Trump is out earning DeSantis. People are celebrating Trump. Trump is stronger than DeSantis. But it's not just DeSantis. It's all the candidates. Now, for what it's worth, Nikki Haley appears to, in Iowa, I think she's managed to claw herself into a, se a second place tie with uh, DeSantis, which is good. Now, that means her... Her campaign is gaining a little bit of momentum as uh, DeSantis' uh, campaign stalls. But um, I, it's not going to be enough to take down Trump. But if Trump, for some reason, can't be on the ticket, she might be the, uh, the alternate that's on there. I don't know how this is all going to work out. This is just so weird. Okay. Um... How's Trump feeling about his chances <laughs> in Florida and over DeSantis? Oh, he's getting his me his media messages out. Uh, I expect the attack ads against DeSantis to start if they haven't started already. <clears throat> Got the Wheel of Fortune, Justice, Hanged Man. Oh gosh. Okay. Um, didn't answer the question. Why? Okay, so if I was reading it as I asked, Trump's going to get uh, media messages out um, that, you know, he, he, the election was stolen from him. It was an unjust thing. This is the voters' opportunity to make things right. Uh, and they can take America back again. It's in their hands. But that's not what I'm really getting here. What I'm getting here is that uh, and this is messages coming out about the court cases involving trump in judgments coming out here um karmic things and trump's going to be a willing sacrifice i think what's going to happen is when trump goes to testify next week he is a willing sacrifice he's going to plead the fifth on this one first off if he opens his mouth and answers questions it's definitely going to be game over. 
his lawyers might tell him to plead the fifth because the case is already lost. There's his sons have butchered. This wasn't supposed to be a Trump reading about the about the court cases. This is supposed to be about him and DeSantis. But Spirit's like, yeah, 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 whatever, DeSantis, Stramantis. You've already answered that question. Here's what the folks really want to know about. Okay, so this is going to be about that court case and judgments. It's going to be about the gag orders too. Uh, that's coming up in a couple of weeks, but um. If Trump pleads the fifth, he protects himself criminally from any future criminal charges because he hasn't admitted to anything under oath. Of course, if he pleads the fifth, then as we all know, only crime bo mob bosses plead the fifth. That's a quote from Donald Trump, right? If he actually answers the questions, he's really going to send this wheel spilling, spinning. Don Jr. and Eric have already effed this case up beyond all recognition. So... I wouldn't be surprised if Trump doesn't, uh, if he pleads the fifth, but Trump probably can't uh, help himself. He's going to attack, he's going to attack the judge's law clerk. He's going to go after the law clerk. He's going to go after the judge. He's going to be belligerent and probably won't ever answer a question that's been asked and then storm out of the courtroom. Good Lord. Yeah, there's, it's going to be, yeah. Okay, it's going to be a shit show next week. I was going to do this reading tomorrow, but it looks like it's going to, you get a preview today. Um, I, I, <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I don't know what to do next. I was going to ask, you know, how does this impact Trump? How does this impact DeSantis? How are they feeling about it? But <laughs> his spirit just threw me a curveball. Okay, let's see. I was just saying, what's okay? Let's let's we'll reset here. Um, will DeSantis uh, uh, remove himself from the race if he loses Florida? I don't know when the Florida uh, uh, primary is, but if if DeSantis loses the Florida primary, is he out? Let's see. Yeah. Oh, he's running out of money. He's running out of money. He is running out of money. He's and he's he's got nowhere to get money. You know, it, all the money's been taken up by Trump. He gets the crumbs. He's gonna be evaluating money. He's probably doing this already. He's evaluating the money situation. To a con. Yeah, he's stuck. He is absolutely stuck. He he can't make it to the finish line. He doesn't have the cash to get his campaign to the finish line. And he's gonna he's gonna be looking like how did I mess this up? You know, actually, you know, it's kind of funny. He's gonna be evaluating the money. He's stuck. He can't raise money. He can't get to where he needs to go. But here's the other thing that I'm kind of getting from this is this card right here. This one's throwing me for the loop. And here's what's why. I think he's looking at it from the perspective of okay, if he loses Florida, he he probably is already seeing this now. He is seeing that he's lost. He does not have a chance to make the primary. I think he's coming to terms with that. So now what is he doing? He's trying to figure out a way to capitalize on the money that he's got. He's looking at this, this war chest he has, and he's trying to figure out how can I get some of this money to, to me and my wife? How can I get some of this money? You know, it's all t the money's tied up in the campaign, but how can we free some up? Basically, he wants to commit entertainment purposes only he wants to do creative counting that some people might call campaign finance fraud um i think right now he's yeah when he loses hope that he has a chance to be the president he's going to go for the consolation prize the year supply of rice aroni and he's going to look at his campaign finance and he's going to try and probably figure out a way that he can lie in his pocket so that it's, you know, consolation prize. You know, it's good to be the president, but, you know, he gets to be a little bit wealthier. Again, entertainment purposes only. What do I know? I'm just everybody together now. Some random dude on the internet reading tarot cards. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for uh, watching this video and supporting my channel. I appreciate it. 
Thank you for your likes and your shares and your comments and everything you do to feed the YouTube algorithm so that my video makes it out to a wider range of viewers. To new viewers to the channel, welcome to the channel. Glad you found us. Hope you found this reading insightful and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Where's my stop button? Oh, there it is right there.